Now, honestly, I would love to try this. Video contains sarcasm, dry humor, irony, and innuendos. Viewer discretion for the easily offended is advised. Hey, hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back. Happy Monday. How's everybody doing? Did you guys all have a good weekend? Did you work? Did you not work? Um, let me know. I'm curious. Uh, hopefully you guys all had a great weekend, though, one way or another. Uh, we went up to uh, Mount St. Helens area, got some vlogging done. Uh, not as much as I wanted to because I went into a major mental block and could not, for the life of me, even face the camera. And I don't know what it was, why it was, it, it just was. And some days I feel like I have that issue doing DoorDash. On, on this channel, but something I gotta work through, get over. Um, yeah, believe it or not, I, I still am camera shy. It's a real thing. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and get DoorDash going. Uh, we do have something actually really cool to talk about today. I'm a little surprised, if you can tell by my face. If you saw the thumbnail and that's why you clicked, that's what we're going to be talking about. Um, so, hopefully it's not just a limited time thing. Let's get DoorDash going. Let's get Uber Eats going. It is Sunday for me, Monday for you. And overall, it's a day that ends with Y. So, we're up, we're going, we got both apps see what we get all right it's not a great order but we know the store and so we should be able to knock it out fairly quick acceptance to drop off should be like 30 minutes and anyway, I guess we just got a message from the customer thank you for shopping for me today I appreciate it well I appreciate being appreciated because what not last video we can do any shopping at Albertsons or Safeway because the app was down or not the app, uh, Albertson's payment system for DoorDash and all that was down. But, so that didn't help. And then later in the day, I went to a restaurant, picked up an order and they offered me a drink, which, you know, it's really nice of them to do. And I said, you know, I appreciate it, but no, thank you. And she's like, well, it's no problem, you know. You guys are basically, you basically work for us. And you can probably only imagine how, how that hit me. There's so much stuff doing this is just out of our control. Some days it does feel more like being an employee than your own boss. Which sucks. Those are the rough days. So. Mm, oranges look good today. Hard just about finished. Just amazes me how much stuff that they wrap in plastic, but then they charge you for a plastic bag to cut down on the use of plastic. I don't even try to make sense of it. It's like we got organics chicken. Slim pickings, slim chickens, slim pickings on the chickens. One free range Just runaway chickens. One. So, how many of you guys actually feel like? We just walked past uh, the grits. Um, <laughs> how many of you feel more like employees versus your own boss?
Don Ponto Cordita's flower. Twenty six. What the heck? That's it. Okay, that's it. We're done. Not too bad. Took like ten minutes. Not terrible. Thank you. You too. Thanks. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? Pretty good. Are we needing bags? Yes, it's a DoorDash. Okay. How's your day going? So far, so good. I'll keep my fingers crossed for you. <laughs> Unless you're getting off soon. Oh, no. I'm no? I'm until 6.30. I'll, I'll definitely keep my fingers crossed Thank for you, you then. <laughs> how's your day going? Just uh, getting started? Or also you... just getting started, okay. so... I guess I'll keep them crossed for both of us. <laughs> Hopefully it goes smoothly. You're the one out there amongst all the traffic and crazy people driving. Well, some days it's smooth and some days it's smooth as sandpaper. Oh yeah. Well, hopefully today's a smooth day. You need Flight. a bag for that? No, that's all right. Thank you. You're welcome. How you doing? Good. Oh. I've had this car for what? Three months now? I am still trying to get used to not having a button on the trunk or being able to use the key pod to open the trunk when I get out of the car. There's a little switch inside. It's freaking weird. All right, this is gonna work. Or is it just gonna load? It's just, just gonna load. Here's the total. All right, we got us a, not a great order, but a good order. Red Robin 1425. Uh, it's all highway, and it's gonna put us close to the Salmon Creek area, so a lot more restaurants over there. And did I mention all highway? So we got it delivered really quick. Right. Yeah. Two, four, oh, why are there always so many drinks? If only a Red Robin. Jamie. Yep. We're getting served by the balloon guy. Didn't have that on my bingo card for the day. Yeah, if you want to double it up, yeah. yeah. All right, you're responsible now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right, 
be way better. I am always outlined. Right. Thank you so much. Oh yeah, it's a lot better. You too. We're gonna dodge this ram. Ha! <laughs> oh, B4. Guess we are playing bingo. Four drinks, all appetizers. Are uh, we gonna play this game again? I got service. We're just gonna play the loading game again. Why? Oh, I guess we're not. 225 base, $12 tip for four drinks and appetizers. So I know for a lot of us, we have always, we, we've always had a restaurant or two or five that we just absolutely hate picking up at. And we would love to be able to go, you know what? Click, tap, no more. Not not doing it, not doing it at all. Well, there's a new tier, limited time rewards thing. Thank you to Jalissa for sending me this because unfortunately with DoorDash, I don't get to try anything out. I The last time I got to try something out was that Pro Shopper rewards thing. You know, you do a bunch of extra, you know, shopping orders in a week. And if you meet all the metrics, keyword if, then you'll get an extra dollar for every one that you complete. Well, that's great. But again, that's just more work for an extra dollar. Woohoo. But this, apparently they're trying to do some limited time things. They're playing around. Trust me, they're playing around. Opt out of select merchants nearby. Your gold status qualifies you for the newest limited time perk of the rewards program. Starting today, if you are a platinum or gold level dasher, our new pilot program or pilot reward allows you to temporarily opt out of all offers from a specific restaurant for two weeks. This pilot reward is only available through September 30th, so the end of the month. Now I'm glad that they're they're introducing this, even if it's a limited time thing. That's what they do. They 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 lit, they do these programs. It's on a limited basis. They gather feedback, all of that, and I just wonder what the most declined restaurant is going to be and why it's going to be Popeyes. How this works: achieve platinum or gold dasher status. Congratulations, you've already done this. Tap the link below to fill out the form by by 9.30 to select a merchant you like to pause offers from. This form will be processed every Monday. Once processed, you will receive a message confirming that you have successfully opted out from your selected restaurant for two weeks. Now, honestly, I would love to try this. I would love to try this program. We do have Popeyes around here. I haven't picked up from them very often. Um, Trying to think if there's a restaurant that, around here that I would probably not like to pick up from. I think it would probably have to be Taco Smell. Sometimes, and it just depends on who's managing what shift. Sometimes it's great. The orders are ready, no issues. But if it's certain managers, they take their sweet time and they ignore dashers and mobile orders, carry out orders, all of that. I know some of you guys have experienced that. Um, you guys let me know if you've gotten this offer sent to you, if you've gotten any other kind of limited time rewards offer sent to you. What do you guys think about this? What restaurant would you like to see? Actually, what restaurant, yeah, what restaurant would you like to see not be on DoorDash anymore? No. Um, what restaurant would you choose to decline orders from? Put them down below. Give me your thoughts, your comments, critiques, criticisms. Um, all of that. Um, I think this is actually a good thing. Hopefully, fingers crossed, they end up rolling it out to more. 
Um, maybe you get, you know, not necessarily a permanent break from these restaurants, but perhaps you get, you know, even a two week, two week break from Popeyes. It's kind of like a vacation. Salmon Creek did not last very long. We got a 18, 25, 18, 50 order. Brought us right back to Battleground and then we basically sat for an hour. So we're doing this $7 Uber Eats. It's not great, but it's something. Oh, fried rice. Got a Uber Eats for Brianna. Okay, make it right now. Almost said DoorDash. Yeah, he's making it. Great, thanks. They are definitely a panda not so expressed today. But I'm not gonna complain because we could still be sitting with no order. Fifteen, fourteen, still getting used to house members being on the side and not by the door. Ah. That's a guy that takes so long. There. <laughs> See, complain and things will happen. Apparently it's uh, Uber Eats time of day. Doing this 8.45, is that right? 8.45? This order has drinks. No, really? Couldn't tell. Oh, Jack in the crack. Hello. Here for, um, for Xander. Yes, Let me get a um, carrier for Okay, thank you. Yeah. God dang, four milkshakes? Okay. Wow. Uber slash Postmates. Great, thank, thank you. You, you too. Okay. Eh. I guess it's an okay drink here. Here. Definitely had worse. Holy garage door, Batman. Cool. keep forgetting that I don't have to get back as far on the Uber app taking pictures. All right. Wow. 
So I've decided that I may change my vote from Popeyes to Taco Bell as far as the worst place to pick up. Like I said, it depends on the manager, and the manager that's got the most issues was in there today. And, yeah. So, appreciate you guys, as always, for making it this far. Uh, for the day, we were online for six hours, completing 13 deliveries for $110.64. We drove 60 miles, averaging $1.84 a mile. Not great, but we also didn't have the shopping orders that we kind of normally do on a Sunday. It was kind of weird. But they're about two gallons of fuel. So, $7.54. Paying $3.77 a gallon right now. Uh, it helps because we had a lot of highway miles. And for the dollar challenge, we're putting $16 in because, like I said, we only went to the store three times. Wow. And 10 regular deliveries. So, tomorrow should be better than Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Tuesdays are actually better out here. And we got the live Tuesday night. And then I'm going to an undisclosed location on Wednesday, so I don't know if there'll be, there'll be, there'll probably be some kind of video on Thursday, and then, uh, you guys will know where we're at on Friday. I do a live from there, too. You never know, so. You guys be safe. Appreciate all of you. Watch out for the crazies, and we'll see you in the next video.